What's up guys, it's Matt Percaro from the 203K Way and we are doing what I've been talking about for a little while now, uh, driving for dollars. Um, as I know, I've been telling some of you guys, uh, my wife and I are looking for our own forever home right now and we're looking to do, we're gonna do the same thing on our dream home that I did on my first property with the 203K loan. So um, we're just driving around neighborhoods right now um, the neighborhood that we really want to get into. Um, it's an A-class neighborhood, um, so there's not too many properties that need work, um, so, but the reality of it is is that um, if we do find one or two on the, on the on a street that we like um, that needs some work, uh, we're gonna send them some mail and see if they'd be willing to work with us one-on-one, -on -one, you know, not have to get a realtor involved. Um, sell to us uh, directly and maybe you know get some equity on the deal which is always what we're looking for so so what I use uh, to do this is I use deal machine um, if you guys have heard of it before deal machine is a really cool app um, it's on your cell phone and basically what you do is you start driving and it has GPS on your phone and essentially what it does is uh, it tracks your route. So it's really great to make sure that you're not over driving an area or you're not doing the same area twice. You know, when you drive a lot, um, sometimes you might not realize that you already went to the same spot twice. So it tracks your routes. Um, and then also what it does is it has a little, it has a little uh, dot near everybody's, um, everybody's house that you pass. Now, all you need to do when you do find something is that you press the dot and uh, it's gonna add it to uh, the list. Now with this list, what we're gonna do is we're gonna send mail to the list. Um, the plan is to just let them know like, hey, listen, my wife and I are looking to move into the area. Um, as you may know, the market's pretty competitive. So um, we're just looking to see if you'd like to do a private deal with us, you know, no realtor commission fees. And I'm also gonna let them know that I'm willing to take it as is, you know, if I'm doing a renovation loan on the property, um, they don't need to do any repairs. You know, I, they shouldn't be worried about getting an inspection if, it, if it's, if it's um, you know, if it needs some work or something like that. So as I always tell you guys, like, you know, you always wanna find the ugliest houses on the nicest block because that's really where you're gonna find the equity, you're gonna build the equity and be able to make a really good financial decision on your first deal. And then maybe if it's, even it's on your next deal, you know what I mean? Like in, the, in, our, in our case now, you know, this is, you know, I've, I've flipped a bunch of houses at this point and now, you know, I'm looking for something that is going to be, um, you know, going to be long-term for us. And I still want to make sure that we get some equity on this thing. I still want to make sure that um, we're making, you know, we're making the right, we're making the right choice. All right. So this is one that's coming up. Let me just get over here. It's a lot of, it's a busy street guys. So right here, um, you know, obviously it's not the ugliest house on the planet, but uh, it obviously needs some work. It's, you know, like I said, this is an A-class neighborhood. So anything that's a little dated is going to be, um, going to be a perfect candidate for us. So, um, so this one here looks like uh, the address is 70. So what I could do here on Deal Machine is I can go here, hit tap number 70. Okay. And then what I could do is hit add lead. Now, once I do add lead, I can also take a picture of it. So what I'll do is I'll take a picture of the property. Now, when I do my flip marketing, this is really cool because you put an updated picture on the on the postcard and um, it basically piques their interest, right? It's something that they're gonna be like, oh, wow, this person was just here. Like, this isn't just some crappy Google image. This is someone that's been just here. Um, so that's one that we got. Um, we did this uh, two weeks ago. We got 35 leads in one little neighborhood we're doing. This is our second neighborhood. Actually, before this, we went to a for sale by owner, which is perfect for us, right? Because it's it's perfect because for sale by owners, usually, um, you know, realtors don't, can't get involved on those. So anybody that's like a retail buyer um, typically can't get into, um, they don't want to get into for sale by owners because for sale by owners means that they're not going to get a commission because it's not on MLS. So the option is that either the buyer pays the commission, which most buyers don't want to be stuck paying a commission, right? The other thing that happens too is that, um, you know, 
a lot of these for sale by owners, they're selling as is. They, they, they don't want to get like inspections involved. They're trying to look for the easiest transaction possible for them. And uh, we met with that lady earlier. Um, very nice lady. She's, you know, she's been in the house for 40 years. She's looking to move on. Um, she's looking to sell the house on her own because like her family's in real estate. She's just looking to do it on her own. Um, but we had, you know, we had a good conversation with her. We saw that she's looking to move away and um, she's she's ready. She's been trying to sell the house for a little while now, but now it's like really she's ready to go, which is a great thing to really understand like where she's coming from, what she's looking to do um, and how soon she's looking to do it. We're looking for something that needs some work. It's not the top of market house. It's the house that potentially we're gonna make the top of market house when we do some um, when we do some renovations on it. But ultimately it's gonna be something that um, is gonna benefit us long-term and be a good financial decision for us. Now guys, when I do my flipping business, obviously I'm not looking in A-class neighborhoods. Usually I'm looking at more working class, B-class, C-class neighborhoods. And I can get, you know, a hundred leads in one hour. I've done it before and uh, it works. Driving for dollars really does work, guys. Um, even if, you know, even if you're looking for your forever home, I think driving for dollars is just a great way to, again, find the ugliest house on the block, make a good financial decision on your first one. And if you could buy it with a renovation loan, you're really going to, you're really going to capitalize. A few moments later. All right. Well, one of the things we know is probably this neighborhood is a probably not an area that we're looking to move into. If, if everything around here is completely brand new and everything's completely up to snuff, it's not gonna be in the budget that we want where we could actually, you know, make a good, make a good, uh, make a good offer on something. Um, but there are a couple here and there, again, not as fruitful as other, as other markets that I, I look for, like for my flipping business and stuff like that. But, um, you know, there's a couple here and there that do pop up. We did get a couple earlier. Of course, we jump on here, we start talking and realize that uh, as luck would have it, nothing really pops up. So what we'll do is we're gonna jump into another area, um, start looking over there, and then maybe jump back on here and see what we have. All right, what's up guys? So we're in a different neighborhood now, a little uh, probably less high end, which is fine. Um, definitely still a nice area, but um, you know, a lot more selection around here. The other thing is too, guys, to consider is like when you're driving for dollars for yourself, well, maybe not drive, driving for dollars is a funny way to call it when you're when you're doing it on your own property. But, um, you know, when you're driving for your own home, um, you know, you could also be selective. Like, you, you know, it doesn't have to be just a pure flip value play. Um, what's kind of cool about this is like, you know, you get to decide on what you would like to or not like to move into, right? So, you know, one thing I take into account is like, okay, if we did do some renovations, what would we be able to do to this house? Like some houses just have like such a rough layout that it's really hard to know what you would do with them. I think this one would be a good one. So this one up here on the left definitely looks older. You can see some aging roof, um, definitely has some aging, um, has some aging characteristics. It says on a, on deal machine here, it says it's on a trust. Um, so, you know, a trust guys typically means that someone older was living in the property and their property was put in trust to whoever is going to, you know, eventually, you know, take their, uh, take their inheritance. So, um, trusts are kind of good for us, honestly, because trust mean that they're, um, either old or about to pass away, or maybe they did pass away, which circle of life, it is what it is. Um, but you know, that family might be looking for a way to get rid of that house. And the other thing is too, is like, if it was an old person's house, they maybe weren't taking good care of it. You know, a big thing that I see all the time is families, and this is in my flipping business as well. Like there's families that are looking to move out of a property and, uh, or looking to sell a property, but they're, you know, their parents didn't take good care of it. So they're afraid to put it on the market because they know they need to do repairs to get it up. And that, and that's the, again, the resounding thing I keep coming back to is like find the ugliest house on the nicest blocks in the neighborhoods, because, you know, typically these are people that are a little more reluctant, a little more reluctant to list on the MLS, or, you know, they feel like they need to do repairs in order to list it on the MLS. Um, and you know, if, if you're coming in and you're telling them, Hey, listen, you know, we like your house. We like the area. 
Um, you know, I, it looks like there needs some, some maintenance to be done, but that's okay because we're buying with a renovation loan, you know, we're using a loan that allows us to factor that in. So, you know, you won't have to worry about an inspection. Like you won't have to worry about failing the inspection because um, we're gonna be able to do what we need to do to the property, um, you know, to make it livable and, and be able to get a bank to approve it. Another thing, guys, look at the roofs. Like, roofs are like probably one of the most telltale signs of if a property is distressed or not. This house right here, um, the roof is the roof is beat up. Um, you know, the house it looked okay, but the roof is beat up. But those are things that I love to look for. Um, you know, if the house has like anything overgrown, the landscaping's not being taken care of. That's a big dead giveaway. Um, and what's great, again, is, you know, you have so many nice houses around the area, right? Listen, when you do a, when you do list mailing, which is totally great, like list mailing is great. I, I totally recommend it if you have the budget, but that is just the case, right? Like you, you need to have a big budget to cast a very wide net um, to make sure that you're getting to enough people. When you drive for dollars, yes, it does take some time. Obviously, we're doing it here. We're doing it right now. But the good, the upside about driving and driving these neighborhoods is number one, you get to see and feel the neighborhood. You get to know what it's like around here. Again, driving this neighborhood right now, I'm looking around, I'm seeing, I'm seeing a nice neighborhood. I'm seeing a desirable neighborhood, a neighborhood that people are definitely gonna wanna move into. Even if it wasn't for us to, 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 to move into, um, for us to flip the property, you know, you're, you're finding properties that like obviously, um, people want to be in these in these desirable neighborhoods um you know the other thing is that you're going laser targeted you're looking laser targeted at houses that obviously need work right when, when you're doing a blanket mailing you don't know what the house looks like just because they have a lot of equity on it just because they might be like bankrupt or something like that doesn't mean that the house is not in good condition and they couldn't just list it on the mls anyway um you know it's 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 something where you're going direct to the source and that is what makes it so special. That's what makes it so unique and that also makes it so powerful. Another thing too, guys, is like, again, when you do the list mailing um, and you are mailing to some of these lists that you get from Listserv or you get some other, other data feeds online, those data feeds are feeds that other investors are tapping into as well, right? So like, what's to say that the lists that you're getting are not lists that also like, you know, 10 other, 20 other investors are mailing in that market. So then you really need to start paying attention to like, okay, well, if 20 people are, you know, mailing, you know, mailing this address, um, you know, what am I gonna do to stand out? Um, you know, we've been doing this, it does, definitely does take some time. I'm probably at, I don't know, we're probably at like 50 or 60 leads right now. We've only maybe done probably two hours of driving max. Um, guys, you know, you, you dedicate one Saturday, one Sunday, um, you know, you and, and a partner, a significant other, or just yourself, whatever, um, you know, you put some music on, you go around, um, deal machines, a great thing, but guys, in the past, I used to just write the, write the addresses down. Um, this is how I used to do it. And, uh, it works. It absolutely works. It takes time. Um, it does take volume. You do need to dedicate some time to doing this, right? This isn't something that, uh, you know, this isn't something that you just want to do for a couple hours, uh, at a clip. You want to do it. You want to do it a lot. Another thing too, guys, is Deal Machine tells you the, the names of the people right away. It tells you, um, you know, the, the owner's info. Um, you could even skip trace right from here. You can basically skip trace right from the app. It charges you a, a dollar or something like that to skip trace and you skip trace. And then you can get the people's information right there. You can give them a cold call. You can, um, you know, you can learn a little about if it's, is an absentee owned, absentee owned meaning does someone that lives out of state or out of the area own the house and not actually live there, right? That's usually a, a common thing for rental properties, right? Like I own rental properties, but my name, I don't live there. So you don't have, you know, those are people that might be more likely to sell, right? Um, you also have, um, you also have trustees like corporate owned, corporate owned usually again means maybe it's like a rental property or, or an investment property. Um, you know, you'll see that. So um, that's what I have for you guys. I'm gonna obviously keep you posted as I go, but I hope you got a lot of, uh, hope you got a lot of tips out of this. So um, we're gonna keep you updated. I'm gonna keep making these videos. And until then, I'll see you on the next one.